Okay, so it's fair to say things didn't go well over at South End, did they? But where do we go next? Let's go and find out in today's episode of The Rerouted Journeyman. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And yeah, new series is today kicking off here on the channel. If you was watching my South End series, you have not missed a thing since the last video. We are still staring at that email that announced that I had been sacked by South End United Football Club. And if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it if you want to see a man have an absolute disaster at a football club. It might be worth a laugh. But, yep, we're going to get into it today. We're going to have a look for a new job. I've not got a clue where we're going to end up today. If I just show you the leagues that I have got loaded You'll see that I have I was actually prepared for this eventuality, even though I did not want it to happen. Because you can see that as far as playable leagues, we've got Belgium, we've got obviously all the English leagues, we've got France, Germany, Holland, Italy, Northern Ireland, Portugal, Scotland, Spain, and Wales is going to be coming into effect in the next season. So about six months from now. So, yeah, we've got a lot of choice as far as countries, but what jobs are currently available? Let's go and have a look at that. Here we are on the job centre screen, and you can see there's a few jobs available. Not that many that I think I could be in contention for. There's Aberdeen up in Scotland. There's Kettering in the Vanarama National League North. Which, let's have a look at them and see how they're getting on. They've got a capacity of 3,131. They're 14th in the National League North. They've got Matty Jarvis as their caretaker manager. That's quite cool. That's quite cool. I liked him. He was good when he played for West Ham. And so, yeah, let's have a look at them in the league. They are, like I say, 14th, 21 points. Six points off the relegation zone and uh, 11 points off the playoffs. Might be able to make a late push for the playoffs if I was to get that job. Very, very possibly. Where else is there? Port Vale in League 2. Tranmere also in League 2. Maybe a little bit ambitious if I was to try and get one of them too. Uh, Warren Point in the Dansky Bank Premiership. They are 12th. I'm guessing that's last. Is that last? Yes, it is. And wow. They've only won four games out of 22, but they are still only three points off being safe. So maybe rebuild our career over in Northern Ireland. Go and say hello to Loki Doki. That would be quite cool. And where else is there? Altrinum in the National League. They are 22nd. That's quite some cool kits they've got there. I like their sponsor, Scrap Metal. I, I But I hope that Jay Davidson does not stand for Jim Davidson. Because if it does, I'm not going there. Because that man is not a very nice man. But yep, 22nd in the National League. Would be cool to get back into that division. Maybe get a game against Southend and beat them. That would be quite cool. And they're only a point off being safe. So, would be easy enough, I think, to get them out of the trouble they are currently in. So, yeah, that could be an idea. Where else is there? There's Paderborn and Darmstadt over in Germany. There is also any others I'm interested in? I don't think so. I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to apply for all these jobs. And then we'll see what happens when we come back if I've got any interviews. It's taken about nine days, but we've finally got an interview. It is with Ultranum, who we did just have a little bit of a look at. So let's go and jump right into the interview 
and see what Lawrence Looney, which is a brilliant name for a chairman. Oh my gosh, I want this job now. I want to work for Mr. Looney. Please, please, please give me this job. Let's get into the interview. We're glad you've come along to discuss our plans. I'm glad you've given me the chance. Yep, just use your pleasantries. Can you ease our concerns about your lack of experience? Um, uh, duh, duh, duh. What do I want to say? I'm still pretty new to management. Um, I know full well it would be a risk if you were to hire me. Yeah, let's say that. But I hope you can look past the lack of experience and trust that I'm the right candidate for the job. Can you explain why you appear to be in the running for a few jobs right now? I'm exploring my options, Mr. Looney. You have previously been embroiled in media controversies. That was harsh. Come on. I'll say I'll cultivate a healthy atmosphere if given the job. We want to ensure that the dressing room atmosphere is much better than it was. It, I, I've promised you twice now I will get a decent dressing room atmosphere. Come on. Can you tell me why you're the right candidate for a team fighting relegation? I'm going to say I've got the passion, fight and spirit required to avoid relegation. Would you be able to take charge straight away? Straight away, please. I need money. I need money, money, money. How would you feel about working with our current director of football, Rob Estiva? I've not got that much experience, so I don't think I can be making any demands. So I'll go, I'm happy to work with him. Are you looking to bring any staff in with you? Um, I don't expect to make wholesale changes. Let's say that. And now the club vision. What is their club vision? They want to sign players under the age of 23. Yep, work within the wage budget. Yep, I was expecting that. Avoid relegation this season. And then just continue remaining in the National League. I think I can do better than that. I think I can get this team out of the National League within a couple of seasons. Would uh, would you expect to avoid relegation? Uh, I think that's a fair target. That's what I'm going to go for. I'm not going to go for anything too extravagant at this point. A proposed wage budget of £14,195 per week should you get the job. Um, I'd be happy working with that. And are there any requests? I would like the board to allow me to continue my development by taking a course towards earning my next coaching badge. Please, Mr. Looney. And they think we're, I'm sufficiently qualified. Okay. I accept that the board don't see the benefit. And I think that ends the interview. So that is how I'm going to be answering all the questions in all the interviews. So I don't want to bore you with loads of interviews. So I'm just going to go away and then I'll come back when I've got a job. Hopefully it's this one. Really want to work for Mr. Looney. It's the 19th of January and we've finally been offered a job. It is Hungerford Town who are in the Vanarama National League South, I believe. Yes, they are. They're 21st in that league. I think we looked at them earlier. They are bottom of that league. So if we was to take this job, it would be all or nothing because obviously no leagues below that. So if we was to get relegated, it would end our time at that club after just a few months. But also, I can see that looking upwards, a couple of wins, a few wins, and we can get ourselves to mid-table safety. Rather, not, not easily, but not impossible either. And so if we have a look at their key their key employees, their captain is James Rusby, who obviously I can't see his attributes. But you can see he's played 23 games. He's a defensive midfielder. He's got an average rating of 6.77. Who else is there? Vice captain Callum Wilmoth. Key player is from Belgium. Quite like that. Simo Mbonkwe. Bonkwe? Is that how you say his name? I don't know how to say these foreign names. But anyway, central midfielder. He's only scored once and got two assists. So, yeah. You can see where the problems are. Their key players are not performing. And so, Tawanda Mutoti, who I can see a bit more of his attributes here, which is quite nice. He's very determined. He's got... He's only played four times this season. 
I might be trying to get him into the team a little bit more if I was to take over here. And so Dev offered me a deal on £625 a week, no transfer budget, a wage budget of 4.9k a week, but they have agreed to give me a coaching course if I do, if I do, what should we call it, take the job. That's the word I was looking for. So I think I'm going to delay this for a week and then see if I get any other job offers. But if not, we might be going to Hunkerford Town, people. The job interviews are coming in thick and fast now. Maidstone have now approached us to take over their job. They've offered us £675 a week, a transfer budget of 12 k a wage budget of 13 and a quarter grand a week. They've also agreed to give us a coaching course and their, co- their club vision is looking pretty decent, I think. Work within wage budget, sign players to sell for a profit, don't sign players over the age of 30, Vanarama National League South mid-table for this season, which might look a bit over-optimistic, but I think I think we can get top half. Maybe even try and fight for a playoff place, which would be quite nice, a decent way to end the season. So I'm tempted by Maidstone. I really am tempted by these. And because look at that castle on their profile screen. That is very, very cool. They've got basic youth facilities, local reputation, below average training facilities. 1,100 season ticket holders, okay finances, and Maidstone is where Chris Smallin, the ex-Man United defender, started his career, and Roy Hodgson's an icon there. Maybe I could try and follow in old Roy Hodgson's boots. That would be quite cool. So, yeah, that's another option. But also, Altrinham have just requested backroom staff changes. So I might be back with you in a second with details of them offering me a job. And also, there's a surprise team that I've had an interview with that I'm waiting to see what happens. I'll tell you I'll tell you all about it in a minute if it does happen. That surprise team that I was just talking about, it's Hartlepool United in League 2, no less. They've offered us their job £825 a week, transfer budget of 24 k wage budget of 31 and a half, and their five-year plan is work within wage budget, sign players for a profit, fight bravely against relegation, and then just stay in League 2 and just keep moving up the leagues over the next few seasons. I am going to smack their hand off. I'm going to take this immediately. Who would have thought when we got sacked at Southend that we would be ending up in League 2? Oh my gosh. So, Hartlepool United. Let's go and have a look at their squad and then we'll leave the video there for today. Here you see it. Hartlepool have today confirmed the appointment of Spencer Taylor as the club's new manager. A guy called Raymond Bell was considered the favourite, and that's gone because of my auto-continue. Okay, so reputation, two stars, director of football, Barley Seaton, assistant manager, Clint Hill. Didn't he play for Palace? I swear he played for Palace. Yeah, he did. And so the Shoot Direct Stadium, that's a cool name for a stadium, 7,850 capacity, Below average training, below average youth, fairly basic youth recruitment. 23rd in League 2 as things stand right now. We're out of all the cups, so only got to concentrate on the league. Let's go next. And now, that is a 4-1-2-3 formation is what I would call that. Maybe not what you want to be going with when you're 23rd in the league, but we're going to look into it, see what we can do. And so we've got a few players on loan. We've got Matty Daly on loan from Huddersfield, Luke Brennan from Blackburn, uh, three from Middlesbrough. Are we near Middlesbrough? I'm guessing we are. Josh McDonald is on loan to Whitby and a couple others on loan to other teams. 
And so let's go next. Once again, we've already had a look at that club vision. And yet we do want a press conference. I'll do that off camera. And first day in the job. And we get a look at the youth intake. I bet this is not great. Oh, actually. Oh, four star youth intake. That's, that's surprisingly good. I'm happy about that. Apparently there's an attacking midfielder we should really keep a close eye on. Looking forward to seeing him. And with B for wingers, one of our wingers looks like a very handy prospect. Could be decent. So I'm looking forward to that. And now, Hartlepool players in last year of contract. Let's do this by ability, which is how it was. Um, Luke Hendry, who's on at 1,200 a week. Let's have a look at your attributes, sir. You have got OK marking, OK tackling, OK positioning, decisions, concentration, composure, bravery, anticipation. You're not bad. I'm going to give you a couple games and then we'll talk about a new contract, sir. And then everyone else, it's saying we should be just delaying it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go uh, delay decision for him and then apply recommended decision to all the rest. And so, um, playing time expectations for next season. Yeah, nothing too much there we want to be looking at so far. Let's go and get into the squad. And let's go assistant report. And so, um, yeah, assistant report. Um, strengths. We play well when playing that 4 3 3 formation that they showed us on the other screen. Plenty of room in the wage budget. Goalkeepers in the team don't tend to punch the ball. So that's something quite good. We've got Lee Camp. Wasn't he at Man U recently? I swear he was at Man U. No? Apparently I've made it up in my head. I'm thinking of someone who went to Man U out of like nowhere. Answers on a postcard who I'm thinking of. Let me know. Uh, Jeremy Sivy is the best of nine good options able to play on the right wing. Jamie Sterry. That's a name from the past. I've had him before. Where have I had him before? It might have been Kings Lynn. I think it was Kings Lynn a couple of years ago that I had him. So Will Cocolo is a very good option at left back. So we've got we've got some decent bits here. Let's have a look at us compared to the rest of the league and then we'll we'll see where we're gonna come back for our first game. And then I shall let you go for the day. So, goalkeepers. Decent kicking. Decent reflexes. Handling, not the best. Aerial reach. Again, not great. Command of area. 21st. Wow. 6th for one-on-ones. 15th for throwing. And then, what's the last one? Agility, 14th. And then, just having a look at defenders quick. About average and a few bits that are very much below average. As for midfield, poor. Midfield is where we need to be working on, I do think. And then strikers up front, what have we got? We've got good long shots, but that's about it. So defensively, I think we're okay if we have a look at that again. So, oh no, defenders, there we go. Yeah, defence is okay, but I do think midfield and up front is a bit more of a concern. And so, who have we got in our first game? Our first game is against Exeter in five days' time. That's a decent amount of time to get some ideas into the team. They're eighth in the league. And so, guys... On that rather shocking turn of events, I'm going to leave you for today. We'll be back for the Exeter game next up. And yep, if you've enjoyed this video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 22 content. I'm off to try and do something about that midfield and that attack. And so follow me on Twitter at Taylor M Gaming. Thank you very, very much for watching. I shall see you next time.